We are at the Salem Speedway in Salem, Indiana for the 12th race of Season 1 of the SCRL Cat Dog Pro Series West. The 99 car of Marco Chiepez will be leading us to the green flag. Step beside him is the 42 of Eddie Wacumbi. Points leader Scott Smith will be starting way back in the 28th position. Let's see your starting lineup for tonight's race. Now, I know this is a West Series race, and we are racing in Indiana, and that would probably technically be a West, I mean, excuse me, a East Series track, but I looked up tracks for the West Series that the cars have raced in in the past, and this track showed up, and it came up at random when I did a uh, search on what track to do. I numbered all the tracks that they raced on, numbered them 1 through 10, or however many numbers there was. I went to random.org, did the drawing, and Salem came up. So Salem will be the second to last race, where hopefully this will be a good event. As you return to the short tracks. Kaka Whiteline, who won the last race at Texas World, will be looking to win back-to-back -back races. She will be starting in the fifth position. Only one driver has ever won back-to-back -back races here in the West competition. That was Riley Spurley Tube at Twin Ring and Evergreen. So after this race, we will have the season finale at the Sonoma Raceway, a road course. But for now, we are at Salem, and here's the command for the 12th time here in Season 1. Drivers, start your engines! Yet another night race. The field is rolling off. The Salem Speedway. I have used this track several times for the ARCA series and so forth. There have been exciting races, there have been boring races, there have been wrecked fest races, there have been non-wrecked races. How will this track react to this 110% AI strength? Pace car will pull in, pull them belts tight, we are racing 20 laps here at Salem, Pace car pulls in. And Marco Jepez puts the hammer down. We are racing at Salem. And now towards turn number one. And the turn number two, Carter Friesian trying to take over second place. Well, Cumby goes a little bit wide. Oh, 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 hard impact by AJ Jones. Oh. Oh, oh, our points leader, Scott Smith, Colin Jabber, Greg Lee. Wow. That was brutal. And that was only the first lap. The 99 car, Marco Zippas, is our race leader. Take a look at the first caution of the night. So here's the cause of the caution. The 42 car, Eddie Wacumbi, racing with A.J. Jones. Wakumbi scrapes the wall, comes back across the track in front of AJ Jones. AJ tries to avoid, but misjudges and smacks the inside wall. You got a wreck back there behind him. We'll look at it in a second. Richard Torres, the two, I mean, excuse me, the five got damaged. The nine, King So King. Oh, the 30 missed, the 21 missed, the 12 did not. Hard impact for Rio Mintu Malu. Here comes DJ Curtis. Oscar Isaac with a new paint scheme for this race. And wouldn't you know it, poor Scott Smith, our points leader, nails the two car. And that 47 car is destroyed. Colin Drabber, nowhere to go, got damage as well. The 01, Greg Lee. Man, oh man. Now let's go back further because we had an incident in turn four. With the 14 car of Ryan Boyer. Actually, it started with the 18. Alejandro Yepes scrapes the wall, then hits the 14. 07 got damaged, 22, 55. Fifty-two, fifty-four, 
0, 1. And you see Scott Smith going on the high side. He missed the wreck in turn 4. But unfortunately, he misjudges. Let's go on board with him. He can't go down low because Mia Saudu is there. Scott Smith, nowhere to go. And bam. Nails AJ Jones. I'm pretty sure Scott Smith had a 20 or so point lead, but finishing last is, well, around last is not going to help his championship hopes. Well, we'll clean this mess up in turn one and take you back to the restart. And we are back. Scott Smith, our points leader, will in fact finish last. We have 24 cars left. 22 are on the lead lap. Marco Zipes is our race leader. Second is Carter Friesian. Third, Eddie Wacombe. Fourth, Mastil Palola. And fifth is Katka White Lion. And we're back to racing here at Salem. Dexter Black trying to get one of his laps back. And does. For now. Nope, not enough. And we got car in the wall. That's the 24. And we complete a lap under green. 12 laps to go for Marco Zipes. Whoa. I heard crap. Oh, 55, 15, 71, 2. 21, 88, and the caution is out. Yes, it is. All right. And as the field catches back up, we'll take a look at the second caution of the night. So here's the cause of caution. 21 car, Von Kaiser. He's on the high lane. Hits the wall, comes back across the track. DJ Curtis makes contact, spins him out, and takes out Oscar Isaac. Poor Oscar Isaac had nowhere to go and gets drilled. The 21 got damaged, the 88, the 15, the 71, the 6, the 20 got damaged, the 22, 61, 52, 88. And turn one is a mess yet again, but thankfully it wasn't that big of a wreck, except for these drivers right here. So he might have one or two drivers out due to the damage they received. And this should be a quickie caution, and we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. I'm going, going to get this race restarted with six laps to go. The 52 car of Kurt Trencherman is out of the race. We have 23 cars left. 19 is on the lead lap. Marco Zipes is our race leader. Second is Eddie Wacombe. Third, Carter Friesian. Fourth, Keiko Whiteline. And fifth is Jason Larker. Pace car pulls in. Six laps to go. There's the green. Marco Zipes is gone. He's got a lap car in between him and second place. Dexter Black, he needs to move out of the way. And he does. Oh! Four to go for Marco Shippes. We got car in the wall, that's all right. Oh, oh, huge wreck. 54, 24, 61, and I believe this will take us to green, white, checkered. And uh, yes, it will. And we will take you, well, we will not take you, we will take a look at the third caution of the night. So once again, turn four strikes. Dexter Black lap down, scrapes the wall, gets held up, comes back across the track, and poor Carter Friesian, nowhere to go. And both cars hit the, well, Dexter hits the inside wall pretty hard. And the 24 spins out. So Carter Friesian gets taken out by a lap driver. Not a good night for Carter Friesian. It started off good, and it's not going to end very well. And here comes the 61. Bam! Right in the driver's door. So not a good night for the Smith family. Patrick Smith, 
got damage, and Scott Smith out due to an early accident. So what this means is we're going to go green, white, checker. So unfortunately that didn't in fact end the race, but what does that mean? We have an option of a green, white, checkered up to three attempts. So what's going to happen is from Marco Chiepez all the way down to Carter Friesen will compete in the green, white, checkered. For the exception of Hamish McTavish who blew an engine and did not cross the start finish line. So that means Dexter Black because he was the first driver one lap down, he will be bumped up. So we will have 19 drivers competing in a green, white, checkered. Which we will take you to right now. It is time to settle who will win here at Salem. We will have 18 drivers battling for the win here at Salem. If at any point during the green to the white, we have a caution, we will go green, white, checkered, number two, and so forth, all the way down to three attempts. Marco Gippes was our race leader at the end of regulation, or the scheduled distance, and he will be leading us to the green. So 18 drivers battling two laps to see who will win here at Salem. Pace car pulls in. And green, white, checkered here at Salem. Off towards turn number one. Kaka White Line trying to go for second. Eddie Wakambi fighting hard on the outside. Remember, the leader has to pass the start finish line before caution comes out. Yep. White flag one lap to go. This race is official. Despite the wrecking. Down the back stretch. Into turn three. Into turn four. Marco Chepes is going to dominate and lead every single lap. He wins here at Salem. What? A wreck. Whoa, our leader is wrecked. Oh, it doesn't matter. What a wreck fest that was. So here are your race results. Marco Giuppe scores the win by leading every single lap. Second is Kaka White Lion. Third, Eddie Wacumbi. Fourth, Mastil Palola. Fifth, Kingsdale King. Sixth, Danny Bouchard. Seventh, Jason Larker. Eighth, Mia Saudu. Ninth, Greg Lee. And tenth, Laura DeLanco. We had 15 drivers finish the race. Riley Spurley Tube, Colin Drebert, and Dexter Black were all taken out in a first lap wreck. So that is it for Salem. And that is it for the short tracks. We will see you next at the road course in Sonoma. But first, we will take you to Victory Lane with the number 99 on Marco Gippes and then take you to your point standings. Here are your point standings at the 12th race of the season at Salem. Kaka White Lion is our brand new points leader. She has a 14 point lead over Riley Spurley Tube. Third is Scott Smith, 26 points behind. Fourth is King So King, 29 points behind. Fifth is Mia Saudu, 31 points behind. Sixth is Mistel Palola, 32 points behind. And seventh is Greg Lee, 37 points behind. So heading into our season finale at Sonoma, we will have seven drivers competing for the championship because Lori Delenko in the eighth spot is 48 points behind. That's the maximum you can gain. So technically we have eight drivers that can win the championship, but mathematically speaking in a sense, uh, we will have seven because not all 42 spots will be filled and, you know, all that stuff. So Lori Delenko has a... Liam little chance of being the champion after Sonoma. Uh, ninth is Marco Giepes, 55 points behind, so he, from him on down, are officially eliminated. And 10th is Carter Friesian, 11th is Patrick Smith, 12th Alejandro Yepes, 13th Eddie Wacumbi, 14th Dexter Black, 15th Evan Rudd, 16th Daniel Bouchard, 17th Hamish McTavish, 18th Mike Pearson, 19th Von Kaiser, and 20th is Colin Dreberth. 21st, Richard Torres, 22nd, Steve Larker, 23rd, Will Mitchumalu, 24th, Jason Larker, 25th, A.J. Jones, 26th, D.J. Curtis, 27th, Kurt Trencherman, 28th, Ryan Boyer, and last 10 points is Oscar Isaac. 
So that is your point standings at the 12th race of the season. We will see you next at the 13th and final race of the season at the Sonoma Raceway for the 13th and final race on the road course. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.